Good morning, friends. Guess what today is? It's main event, day one, B-Day, and yours truly is playing the main event. Um, it is only 10.30 in the morning. I do have one of these cafes. Um, you know, it's funny. I've been trying a lot of these coffee things. Uh, as much as I appreciate it, and thank you so much to the guy who brought me that box of Tim Hortons. Not a fan. I felt like you tasted a little like burnt or whatever. And I got a whole bunch of these flavored ones. French vanilla, spicy pumpkin, all this kind of stuff. Eh. I think I'm gonna go with the old school. The one that I liked the most was the 100% Colombian. So we're gonna stick with that going forward after I drink these. Okay, so today is uh, main event day 1B. We are showing up on time, of course. Uh, I believe we're gonna do the shuffle up and deal, which is, you know, an honor bestowed on notables in poker who, uh, you know, they wanna, I don't know, you know what I mean? Just one of them things. So we're gonna do that. Um, really focused in on today, um, playing smart, you know? Um, really just kind of like taking what's there. Uh, you know, Amanda asked me last night, she's like, well, what's a good goal for, you know, chips? What's a good, she didn't say what's a goal. What's a good chip stack for tomorrow? And I said, honestly, you know, it's such a good structure that, um, breaking even isn't that bad, you know, for day one, just getting through. Um, but you know, if, to have a good day, like a really good day is to go from like 60 to 150. Um, so yeah, we, you know, I, I look at like wanting to stay at around, 200 big blinds in the first couple days, and that would be 160 for tomorrow. But, you know, that doesn't affect our decisions. We don't think like, oh, I'm only at 140. Let me play this hand to get to 160. None of that happens. It's just putting out in the universe something we'd like to see happen today, and that seems like something good. Now, I could say, oh, 4 million in chips, but that's kind of silly. And that's, you know, that's living in a little bit too much of fantasy land. So we're going to, you know, we're going we're gonna to throw out our intention of, like, 160,000 to end day one. You can catch it all week on Poker Go as well as um, ESPN. And uh, again, <clears throat> if you don't have a Poker Go subscription, you can get one, an annual, and save 10 bucks if you use promo code Daniel. That's correct. Um, also, gonna bust out the Rocky shirt, right? That's like, you know, the different hairdos. That's the contender's clothing. Use Kid Poker 20 to save 20% off. Okay, done selling you stuff. <laughs> Let's get this day started. series of poker about to get started there's mr jack effel hey, gonna hey, pick hey, things hey. off hey guys. this is the mic guy <laughs> doing the mic his name is mark mike mark, <laughs> mark the mic guy okay so we're gonna do a little okay. shuffle up and deal yeah 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 we're gonna do a little shuffle up and shuffle deal. up so i just say shuffle up and deal well unless you want to give these guys some positive words of no negative words. but we we got you all set up <laughs> where where as long as you don't jump off the stage we're gonna we're gonna put you up on stage you're gonna go down the stairs and come okay. straight to your seat sweet i like Easy. it Perfect. Okay. These guys are funny over here. All right. Here we go. Following the man, Mr. Jack Elfel, to the main stage. Where's my mark? See, that's a mark for the people that don't know what those are. That's where I'm supposed to stand. And then, uh, WSOP main event, day 1B. Yeah, yeah. Dealers, shuffle up and deal. Players, don't do anything stupid. Here we are, World Series of Poker 2019, day 1B. We expect a big one, huh? I think it's going to be a big one, Daniel. Happy July 4th, everybody. Happy 4th of July. <laughs> like a friendly table. Well, I know James. We used to play back in the old days, mixed games. Okay, Got a new hi. crew. Your first tournament ever? Or first time playing poker ever? Main event ever. Main event, okay, that's fair. Hi, Hello, everyone. Good luck. Hi. Feature table. This will we'll be for a little while on ESPN and the whole spiel. Okay, we are end level one of the World Series book main event. We have 50,700, started with 60,000. Two crazy hands right off the bat. This table, uh, can, you, can you do it after the break? Because everyone will get me after the break. Uh, 50,700. 
Um, two crazy hands right off the bat. Jacks I've had three times. I'm all in, Phil. I got jacks. The guy's got ten. Oh, no. Break everything. <laughs> Not yeah. so well. No. Don't play jacks, everybody, if you're new <laughs> to poke. I folded correctly jacks on a king eight deuce board. Guy uh, raised the big blind, he, he calls. I, he checked, I checked back because I just picked up a tail. Turn is like a six, he just bets, I fold. And he had a king 10, we found that out later. So the two hands, <laughs> interesting. Raised with jacks, since this uh, player's big blind is playing in the main event for the first time. Comes uh, queen jack 10, he check calls. Turn is a deuce, whatever. He check raises me. I'm like, oh my god, I'm dead here. Nerver's an eight, and he he check raised to five thousand. Nerver's an eight, so put eight nine, and he only bit eight hundred. So it's like I know I'm beat here. I know he's got king nine, but I call it. He has king nine, and then right after that, I pick up uh, king jack, raise the big blind, or raise it up to five hundred. Comes jack, ten eight, two spades. Guy check calls, turns a king, make kings and jacks. Check raise me again. I'm like, oh my God, I just keep running into the straights. Um, this one was a little trickier, but I was pretty sure he had ace queen, I don't know. I don't think I can fold the turn. And then the rose of deuce of spades, so made the flush and he bet again. I called and he had ace queen, of course. So very happy with this table. Like just a dream situation playing seven handed early on in the main. Uh, it's gonna be a good day despite the slow start. All right, so get this, right? We're back to, after level two, we're at 79-1. We uh, chipped up. We got yikes, <laughs> to kill myself over here. Hey, so 79-1 is what I said. Um, and here's the deal with this table. It is unbelievably like no resistance. So I can open every hand. I think I've won approximately half the hands dealt by either just winning on pre-flop or with a C bet on the flop. And then, okay, no, what's that? Oh, on the way back, I'll do it. Okay, 79-1. Well, we were a patch and everything. So, what was there that? Okay, so yeah, I think I've won about half the hands dealt and probably playing in the neighborhood of 65% of the hands. Basically, I'm opening like every suited queen, every suited king, uh, pretty much every ace, every connected anything. Just opening because I'm not getting much resistance. And when I am, David Hayden has three bet me a couple times, James Van Alstein has three bet me a couple times. Just fold. I mean, unless I have it, because they're not punishing me for opening every hand. So it's a rare situation where you get a table like this where you can basically do whatever the F A C K you want. And that's what we're doing. An interview over here, okay. and she's got me saying words. So let's do another one. What was that? Okay, go. Uh, you know how? You know how? Okay, hey, that's not racist when they ask you to do it. Jesus, stop! <laughs> Alrighty then, 83-3, 83,300 to end level three. Uh, a couple of important notes to think about. The, the evolution of style of play changes. This isn't the kind of GTO poker. This is the anti-GTO poker early on. Like if you're playing, like as trying to like make GTO optimal decisions, you're not playing well in this thing because uh, you really need to exploit, exploit, exploit. The table dynamic has changed a decent amount in the last level because we finally got to, uh, we, have, we finally got to nine-handed, and as is expected, the three players who showed up are all a little bit more, you know, competent, I would say. Uh, you'll typically see that with guys who late reg. So uh, it's going to rain me in a little bit. Like I was opening every pot at seven-handed. Nine-handed, we're going to be a little bit more careful. Um, and also, you know, we can't get away with as much, like, easy steals against some better players. But so far, so good. Uh, we get a dinner break in the middle of level four, play a total of five through three. So far, so good. Just getting started back up. The new player's gotta fill out these things. So Ali and Nick have fun stuff to say about them. This is the guy who bluffed us before with the eight six of clubs. We'll get him. Yeah, and this is the dealer. We have a $20 bet 
on the first one of the guy who's busted whether or not he said raise before the chip hit the thing or not it's very close i think i made the bad bet but i think it's close because she knows she's an expert thank you is that robbie say hi to the people what are you, you work are you okay. working I'm you working. got a job not all of us get mazel play, tov maybe. mazel thank tov my much. friend <laughs> okay all right we're on espn in about seven seconds holy smolies man what the hell Sometimes you gotta fade so much in this main event. And this first day, holy smokes, man. Had some big hands I've had to fold, or big hands that I've lost. What's up, man? Good. I'm the, well, no, not. I'm annoyed. Hey, <laughs> I'm, I'm, a huge fan, man. I'm, hey. I'm actually top fan. Are you? You're yep. top guy? From Iceland. Well, you're on it now. <laughs> See you, bud. So this has been insane. I'm gonna tell you about a hand. We'll do a hand breakdown. The very last hand here is another one where it came ace, four, three. Or ace eight four. I had a set of fours. Turn was uh, it was checked around. Turn is a diamond. I had the four diamonds. Guy check calls. There was a ten and he leads. I'm thirty eight hundred. I'm like I want to raise him so bad. I decided not to to play smart. And he had a king ten of diamonds. It's like, wow. I mean I can't tell you how many hands. Like, whew, holy smokes, man! Queen ten of clubs comes jack nine of clubs. Turn a queen. Miss. Bam, bam, thank you, bam. I'll tell you about the hand in a second. Okay, to the hand. The blinds are three and five hundred. We're playing with somebody who we've had some experience with throughout the day. We uh, a new friend named Granny. So hi, Granny, if you're watching. Well, I've been doing pretty good against Granny in terms of like you know having a good read on where she's at and winning a lot of pots where she, you know she misses and things like that. So she's been raising big in some spots too. She's on the button three in front of her five hundred. She makes it twenty five hundred. Does Granny? I have king queen with the king of spades uh and i don't really love the hand against her range at all because it's going to be pretty nitty and she's going to have that dominated but i'm also banking on the fact that like every five seven eight six seven nine flop i'm just going to win all those when she doesn't have aces kings or queens like i just i'm going to win so i call of course now the flop is jack nine six all spades so i have the king of spades i check she bets 5k pretty strongly he's got a strong hand whatever so you know could be scared over pair you know, she has a, a, it's a lot of different hands you can have, right? Well, not a lot of different hands. It's a really strong one. But we call. We got the gut shot. We got the king eye flush draw. Uh, and that's what we're banking on. Now the turn card is the queen of spades. So we make our flush. I check. She bets 8,000. Stares right at me. Confident as ever. Ready to take on the world. And I got the second nuts. I'm staring right at her. I'm thinking, well, what the hell does she have? Aces with the ace of spades. Sounds about right. I folded the hand. Um, I haven't seen yet if it's a good fold, but I, I think it has to be. It has been so insane how many times I've run into nuts. We're in the middle of level four. Good news is, is we're in the fight. We're not, you know, we're not in trouble, but my gosh, man. Wow, am I running into some hands. It's been nuts. I'm in my trailer. Look what comes on. Ha ha. Really? That's such a She had it. Granny. She does have the jack of spades. There we go. We folded. Pretty sweet. We got a 90 minute dinner break. I can catch about 30 minutes of the action here on uh, Poker Go of what I just played. So that's what I'll be doing is I'll check in on, try to see if I can pick up any reads with some hands. I do have someone at home, Eddie and my wifey are sending me screenshots of hands that I was involved in to make sure I was making good laydowns. And guess what? Guess what? Yes, the answer is yes. I've been blocked by in one hand by the Brazilian kid, but other than that, Every fold was right, and I've just run into nuts way too many times. The way it works, ESPN to Poker Go, ESPN to Poker Go, you need a Poker Go subscription. Remember, promo code. I said I was going to stop selling you, but I got to tell you, you got to get a Poker Go. It's, if you want to be good at poker, you have to get Poker Go. Get the annual. Use promo code Daniel. You just have to have it. July 4th gathering. What? So you're filming them filming? Yeah, so my top. This is the spot here for the fireworks. There you go. Where are we seeing it? Oh, there we go. July 4th, everybody. Perfect day to play the main event. So pretty. Wow. Wow. Amanda. Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you. Earlier we were talking, me and Amanda, my wifey. She's probably mad about me mentioning this, but I'll do it anyway. She finds it annoying when people like film fireworks and like it's never gonna watch it again you just film it like might as well just watch it enjoy it be in the experience you know she's not so wrong right amanda <laughs> oh 
All right, it looks like they are bringing us back to the normal people place to play poker well, among the common folk, which is kind of nice to finish the night that way. Are we supposed to bag and go? Yeah, we're going to go, uh, I believe we're going to 446. Yeah. All right, I got it. Go on, okay, you got it? I got you covered. Rack them up. Follow along. Okay. So I wanted to point this out. I put it on Twitter, but this is important. So in seven hours of play, our table played 253 hands. It's a really good average. The other featured table played 173. So that's 80 hands more in seven levels. It's an average of 10 plus hands, which essentially means like it's, it should be a sign to you that slow play can absolutely ruin a tournament. It can ruin a playing experience for everyone you're sitting with as well as ruin it for you. If you think you're a good player and you have an edge, don't you want to play 250 hands rather than 170? So then stop wasting bleep and bleep and time. And also aggressively call clocks on the slow freaking habitual takers. Oh, I, this table's been great. Having either you need to call a clock on anyone. Good job, guys. Okay, for those of you that were offended by the fact that I was calling this lady Granny, Granny like a, in a draw, that's her name. Granny, that's what she goes by. Her whole family calls her Granny. I love being called Granny. Yes, she wanted to be called Granny, so I called her Granny. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> so before you go cuckoo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 56.5 after 11.4, 56,500. The table, as I mentioned, is a little bit tougher now. The young Brazilian can play, the player on my right can play a little bit. Um, we've really just been dodging bullets, baby, in terms of like spots where we could go broke. Uh, made a lot of really good laydowns today. Uh, I mean, it feels like I'm really happy to have the stack that I do because like we're only gonna be playing three and 600. So I've still got like close to 100 bigs, despite running like really salty, like incredibly salty. Cards break even today, I would have had 200 already. <laughs> Seriously. So uh, last break of the day, one more level to finish strong. I got lots of great energy, feeling really strong mentally, good read on everyone at my table. So uh, it's unlikely they're gonna surprise me with anything too much in the last two hours. And uh, let's just hold, baby. Not surprised our table's done before all these people tanking. Yeah, yeah. Six hands in the night. Yours truly ended with 71 8, as you saw. Gotta be happy with that considering what we went through today. We went through the ringer. We were dodging all kinds of bombs and bullets and rivers and nutted hands and all this kind of stuff and losing minimum in spots where, you know, you're supposed to lose a lot more, but we got experience and wisdom on our side. We know how to navigate these fields. We've done them before. Really long levels allows us to uh, to do that in spots where they're close, you know? So hopefully we get a table much like I had today. Very, very pleased with it. We didn't end up with a ton of chips, but listen, we start with a ton of chips. So 71.8, that's almost 100 big blinds for uh, day two. Get a day off tomorrow. Maybe we'll finally wax my nastiness and uh, hang with, the, maybe get to the gym too. I could use a freaking workout. I'm starting to feel bloated. You know, the long month of the World Series of pizza and cupcakes. So uh, that's it, y'all. Day one, we're gonna call this a success because it's about the journey, right? The question is, did we play lights out? Did we play tie-in poker? Did we play top notch? Yes, 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 yes. Chips, secondary, because with the cards we got dealt and the situations we got dealt, we did a lot better than 99.999% of the people that would have with my cards in this field. So yes, through the day, on to day two. See y'all.